It's the waterfall! And we're heading straight for it. Oh. What the grizzlies? The rowboat should be back by now. Station Officer Steele! Gareth! Something's not right. I better call Fireman Sam. Oh, there we are. Finished. Again. An emergency! Sorry. Station Officer Steele, Gareth, Sarah and James are missing on the river. And it's getting dark. We'd better take Saturn. <laughs> Downstream. Okay. Penny, launch Saturn in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick! On my way. Ooh. He is doing this near! James, what are you doing to my sausages? I'm going to do some smoke signals. My book shows you how to send up three puffs of smoke in an emergency. Oh, that's very clever. Watch! Three smoke signals. That means an emergency. The pioneers must be in trouble on the island. I'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> no Sam in here. Now I can write my speech. There's an SOS coming from Pontypandy Island. Penny, take Neptune to the island and make sure the pioneers are safe. Right you are, Sam. making the smoke signals. You're the best explorer here. We might even have time for sausages while help is on its way. But I'm the best explorer and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman, stop! says that uh, in the event of an island fire to uh, move away to the shore. Oh, yes. Well done, James. Now, life vests on everyone. There they are. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna need some help. That's right, Sam. You check on the tea. Nothing going on in here. It's from Penny. There's a forest fire on Ponty Pandy Island. Elvis, we're going to need Titan. What about the fire? Oh, over there! Look! It's fire itself! What is that? Say hello to the Rocky Blaster 2000. Oh, I take my fluffy flag to the finishing line. Let it blow up. Three, two, one. Please don't let it blow up. Ignition. Rocky blaster coming through. This is so completely unfair. Towards the key. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. He's gone off the end, eh? <gasps> He's heading out to sea. I usually do that. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is heading out to sea at speed on a rocket powered hover cart. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. I might need backup. Island and have to draw a face on a football, so I've got someone to talk to! Whoa! 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 Oh. I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Lily, we'll find them. Oh no, I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realize how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily. What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh no, Sarah's gone too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Thank you. 
They're not just lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? I can't, Sam. We're too near the rock face. We need to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? Showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. Oh dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. Like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look! They're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. Head on my way. Remember your Ponty Pandy pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, man. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. A blanket with no holes, soup that's just right, and a nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mandy Fan is dangling 
from a tree over a ravine? <clears throat> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the Newtown Road. On my way. I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam. Mandy, it's Fireman Sam. I'm coming to get you. <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom. Coming right up. To Mandy, I got you. Thanks, Fireman Sam. Oh, Mum! Oh, Mandy, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry I ran off. I just really wanted to see One Way Street. It's a boy band. The best boy band ever. Oh, I see. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. <coughs> oh, oh, uh, uh. The, the Flood's garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. You get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. Out, Penny. All safe. Phew. I'm sorry, Mum. And I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to give my mum the perfect garden. Don't worry, Mandy. It was a nice thing to try to do. It was, Mandy. Thank you. <sighs> but it looks like we have a bit more work to do. We can help you, Helen. I do like a bit of gardening. Hmm. I think we need a bit more fertilizer spread around these flower beds first, Mandy. Norman, that's your job. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, Norman. I'll help you. Go, team! To swim? Don't worry, Norman. I've passed my gold swimming badge. I can swim better than you.
position to move, Tom. Any props on my side of the ship, Sam. I just wanted the best pirate ship ever. Don't worry, Norman. As long as you and Hannah are both safe. That looks like the perfect pirate ship to me. <gasps> it really does. Oh, my little Norman set design is so realistic. I feel like Jimmy Depp could jump out at any moment. <laughs> Who are? I am the pirate Ponty Pandy Pete, and this is my treasure. And here comes my ship, the Ponty Pandy Pearl. <laughs> Brilliant! It couldn't have gone better. I don't want my frillies flapping about in front of everybody in Ponty Pandy. Now that's entertainment. No! No, Dad! That's sodium! Water will make it burst into... Huh? supposed to happen. James is right. Everybody keep calm and move outside. Outside? Come along. But, but it was just starting to get good. I'll call Fireman Sam. <gasps> A chemical fire at the whole fish cafe? There's a chemical fire at the whole fish cafe. Mandy's there. <gasps> oh, no. And my Norman. Come on, let's go. of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in doubt, you can not fight fire with Sam. You have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> 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 Pulled 
a really scary face. Will the Fog of Doom actually come into the story at any point, Norman? Oh, this is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh, no. Look. It's the Fog of Doom. Don't be silly, James. That's not fog. That's smoke. Oh, and it's coming from my sandwich. It? I know what I am! It'll have to wait, I'm afraid, sir. There's a fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house! Doing out of bed. <laughs> it's in the kitchen, Sam. Penny, you shut off the electricity. Okay, Sam. I'll make sure everyone's all right. Error, one hundred percent. I put too much in the toaster and then forgot about it, Sam. Well, I hope you've learned that a toaster can be a very dangerous thing if you don't use it properly. I have, Sam. Oh, I, uh, just found these cuddly sheep pyjamas on that hedge over there. Huh, they're not mine! Well, they seem to have your name in them, Norman. Who's got the big baby pyjamas now? <laughs> cuddly sheep? That's even too babyish for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the worst sleepover ever! Oh! Wait! I've got it! Am I a pair of trousers? <laughs> you are, sir. <laughs> you are. He's chewed through one of the ropes. There it is! Keep us steady, Tom. I'll try using the grappling hook. Right you are, Sam. Ah. <gasps> Looks like you've only got time for one more try, Sam. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Brilliant! Yes! Oh, that's a relief. There you go, Lammykins. I think you need to find something a bit safer to eat. Nice to see you back on the ground, Lammykins, old friend. I was a bit worried. Sorry, Sam. I should have kept my eye on that balloon. Yes, Joe. You'll have to be much more careful in future. Yes, I will, Sam. You were right, Mandy. 
You really could have flown to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain. Lambykins would have made it. If only... Well, when I build Cloud Scraper 2, I'll use metal cables. Cloud Scraper 2? And maybe a hundred extra bin bags to make it even bigger. Good thinking, Mandy. That'll increase the lift by 50%. I'll get to work tomorrow. Can I help? Sure. Tomorrow, we shall rule the sky. That sounds great, Joe. We best be on full alert tomorrow, then, Elvis. <laughs> Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We're trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery is flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! Grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Get invertigation again. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? <gasps> it's Uncle Sam. Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Everyone, let's get you to safety. Elvis, make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I caused the fire when I put a glass bottle down in the sunshine. Well, you can't be too careful in the countryside when it's sunny and dry, Hannah. I'm just glad that everyone's OK. We are, thanks to Joe's hat. It's just a simple photoelectric cell with a telephone adapter. Whatever you call it, Dad. Trevor's right. It was your ridiculous hat that saved the day. I expect I'm your hero now. I wouldn't go that far, Dad. <laughs> Fireman Sam! Fire at the Whole Fish Cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside.
Can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. Ah, uh, uh, Wooly wants to know who's won the pet show. Oh well, uh, it, I'm not really sure, uh, considering no one crossed the finishing line. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Kraut goes wild. Yay! Norris wins. Poya Whisker. There you are, James. And there you are, Norris. Have some sunflower seeds. <laughs> I do love that moustache. <laughs> and for displaying remarkable courage and skill by saving his fellow animal friends, a special commendation goes to... Freda. Oh, <laughs> Good boy. You can have that bath another day. See? Dogs are better than cats. I suppose dogs might be quite good. Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, it was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishing needle. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, but no needle slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open. <laughs> if you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way. 